My art is an emotional thing. Especially with abstract art, you can see so much into like so many different parts of it that I, I want people to be able to look at my, my pieces and while they may not know my personal reasoning behind it, but maybe they connect to it in a way and it speaks to them. My brain is always running about everything, just not even art related, just life related. I can't stay in here all day. <laughs> to have somewhere to just to kind of throw it out is how I work through feelings sometimes. Like if I'm having a bad day, there are certain paintings that I know that that's a bad day painting. It's soothing like to know that I was able to work through that in a creative way that then turns into something really beautiful. I think there is a lot of hesitation as an artist. You, you want to think about what you're doing. You want to have thought behind it. But at the same time, you just want things to flow. You're torn all the time. To get out of a self-conscious moment, if I'm working on a specific piece, then I will break away from that into something else that I'm less self-conscious of ruining and just kind of try out something I'm, I'm thinking. I have a, a little scratch pad that I use for all my markers that I just, I try out right before, and I use that scratch pad as sometimes inspiration into my actual paintings, just because I'm naturally letting motions and shapes happen that I wouldn't necessarily put into my paintings so that when I'm trying that, I've looked back on that, maybe put something into that, a pattern that I didn't see before. I'm very water heavy with my watercolor. I like watering down my acrylics. I like seeing what it's gonna do. If I tilt up my canvas, it's gonna fall one way. How's it gonna fall? I might think it's gonna go straight down, but I've got brush strokes on there that are going to make it go into a different direction. Maybe I don't like how that's worked, but it's gonna force me into something that I wasn't thinking before. I don't think about where my art has a place. I, I don't have that thought of why am I making this? It's not something that I, I wrestle with. I am just making it. And it's because I want to. Yeah, it is just paint on a canvas. Other than just visually being pleasing to the eye, it serves no purpose. But in that, I think, does serve a purpose. Humans are so visual. Objects, images, they certain things strike you. You don't have to know why, it just is what it is. Not having a formal education with art specifically is something that will change how you approach it because you've not been told a right or wrong. And I, I have of the belief that there is no real right or wrong. Even if you know all the right ways to do something, somebody's going to love it or hate it still. To say I am an artist, sometimes there's a lump in my throat when I say that. I don't know what that means necessarily. I don't know that I have the right, but it's something that is a, a practice that I actually have to tell myself I am an artist. I, I don't have to fit in. There may be a set definition for what an artist is, but there really isn't because you can do anything creatively and you are an artist. Saying it out loud is one thing, thinking it is another.